Welcome back to the tundra. It actually ain't so bad today. Uh, I don't know, 15, 16 degrees out. Beautiful afternoon on today's agenda. We're gonna have to feed everybody, but uh, before that, we're gonna work a group of heifers and uh, we'll probably run some steers through to uh, do some pour on. But uh, first of all, I gotta throw fuel on this thing. Just uh, playing the game, what vehicle did I leave my hat and gloves in? Found them. So up here in the north, um, we got uh, treated fuel. So the big thousand gallon tank outside is filled with number two for the summer. And there's some guys that try and run that year round, but uh, I don't, in a skid loader that gets started every day, I don't like to risk it. So instead I use uh, the auxiliary tank um, that's usually in the pickup trucks for the summer and fall. Fill that with winter fuel, treated fuel. And uh, just use the battery of the skid loader to uh, fill it up. It takes a little bit longer, a little bit more messing around, but uh, typically pretty trouble free on uh, the fuel at least. And it takes a little bit longer, but she all works. Now I gotta move that pallet tank, all attachments, and tether to be able to get this air equipped chute out. Stay tuned. Moving the chute. This uh, air equipped Model 74 is really, really heavy. Uh, I guess right at uh, 17, 1800 pounds. We are uh, going to be working up in the calf shed, so with things will be interesting. We're not really set up up here permanently at all, um, so we'll see what we can organize and uh, get some replacements ran through the chute. With the, we're going to shoot them with the bangs, so we got to tattoo them, cut their ear, and uh, lepto and a couple others. So. Did you get them? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna come help me close the gate? Yeah. Hey, come on. Close the gate. the next morning and what do you know more snow <clears throat> this really is a good old-fashioned uh, Minnesota winter oh, this morning nobody needs to be fed hey um, we'll have to feed this afternoon make him clean it up a little bit but uh, I have somebody come in to look or to pick up these uh, old skid loader tires and rims that I took off. The ones I replaced with them uh, Campso 751s. So, get in here and make sure everything's good. Wait for him. See what happens. On a side note the other day, I was having uh, high beam issues on my 06 Duramax. And, uh, I suppose I should have looked a little bit better, but uh, GM has actually got a fuse for the right and a separate fuse for the left. So I never thought it could be the fuse because the one was working and I guess I just assumed that uh, they were all ran off one fuse, but uh, if you guys are ever in the same boat, there is a right and a left, even for the low beams too. I was going to talk more about this when I was doing it, but I uh, totally forgot the camera. Um, HID kits. 
way better than LED or uh, regular halogen bulbs. Um, the only problem is you buy these cheap sets off of Amazon. They only last about five, six years, which uh, which isn't horrible uh, for the money you're paying. I think it's like 50 bucks a set for highs and lows, and you can do your fogs too. Uh, you could spend a few hundred bucks, but they're only going to last a little bit longer. So I go this route and just switch them out every five, six, seven years whenever they stop working. And uh, your visibility for your money is a whole lot more. So these are the sets I went through, but... Uh, you just go on Amazon and type in your vehicle and then HID kits, and uh, they're uh, pretty pretty dang reasonable. Well, I must have listed them too cheap. There they go. Didn't even haggle on the price. Now what to do today? This is that group we worked yesterday. Um, sorry about not getting any footage, but uh, the vet had to come out to do the bangs vaccine, uh, so we were pretty busy running them through quick. We'll have to uh, do a booster here, I believe, in three weeks. Um, so maybe I'll take the time and try and get some uh, footage of that shoot working again, but uh, that arrow equip, time and time and time, it uh, shows well worth its money so we got two uh well let's steer over here one steer left and then a heifer with a bad hip that we're uh feeding out uh, slaughter so i'm gonna feed these guys grain and uh go back in the house and see what's planned for today but <clears throat> as you can see these calves are doing really good on uh, baleage with no top dressing grain or corn silage. It would be nice for to have corn silage for a little bit more energy and to uh, save on hay consumption, but we got a ton of baleage, so and the protein's high in it. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Um, we are right on schedule next Sunday to open up the silage bag from last year and uh, feed the rest of that out should last maybe a month month and a half i think i'm just gonna feed the cows corn silage i'll try and save some hay so i think there's uh i don't know 40 45 feet left maybe maybe but uh yeah calves doing good cows doing good i'm gonna uh throw some grain in these pails for these guys they're on pretty much full feed but uh, they're still Still feed them every day, um, just to keep the feed fresh. May as well show you guys what the grain looks like. Just corn, protein pellets, and uh, mineral. I believe it's an 18% ration. So, pretty damn universal. Just uh, adjust your poundages you're feeding for animal size, and uh, go from there. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind, but uh, cows look good. They're out of baleage as usual. Um, dry hay, they got three quarters of a bale out there, so they'll be good for today. Um, sorry about not the not so interesting video this week, guys. Uh, it's already Friday, so I'm going to be pinched for editing this and uh, getting it uploaded for you guys tomorrow. Editing don't take so long, but the uploading usually takes 12 to 15 hours, so if, uh, it's a computer issue or just a um, internet issue, I don't know. We have pretty good internet. I think the videos are pretty taxable, especially when we're still using it on other stuff. But, <clears throat> short and sweet, as always, not much going on this winter start picking it up with a uh, cabin here yep. two months out so a little bit uh, shop work's gonna start and uh, we've been hauling one load a week to the sale barn of hay and uh, last week we started two and we'll probably be on two loads a week for the rest of the winter and spring so 
And then we got the regulars that are still coming and uh, regular orders. So the hay is starting to really move out of here and uh, prices could be better, but uh, can't complain. I see corn's up. See if that continues. Got that bin full to uh, sell. It's not priced yet. I probably should have, but still gonna risk it. See what happens. I still think there's a ton of upside. And don't follow my lead, guys, because I have no idea. I'm just looking at the demand and the war and all that stuff. I think there's still plenty of upside with uh, with the market. It's more I don't really know but uh, we'll just continue on. Continue on. Next week's video should be more interesting, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow along for more, and we'll talk at you later.